To calibrate the camera on your device, you can also use or deploy the camera calibration scene on it. Open the scene in the build settings. Here, make sure your scene is added in the scenes in build field and then click on build and run. For iOS, make sure to add the UA file sharing enabled flag to the list after deploying to Xcode. In order to be able to download the calibration.json for the mobile device later on. On Android devices, you can simply use the file transfer app. Now print the chessboard pattern or display it on a flat screen. You can download the pattern on our website. We add the link in the description of this video. Note, the pattern has to be flat. If you print it, make sure the aspect ratio hasn't changed and the chessboard tiles are squares. If you display it on a screen, make sure the pattern has the original size. Open the app on your device and run the calibration. Move the camera slowly to provide motion blur and distortions. Point to the pattern from near and far and from different angles. Make sure that you also catch the pattern in the corners of your camera image as well. Click on Calibrate and Write when you're done. Now, you just have to transfer the calibration JSON file to your computer and reference it in your Unity project. To reference the file, click on the VL Tracking Game object. At the Calibration File field of the Tracking Configuration component, switch from Object to URI and type the path in the field. In cases when you only need the calibration during development, you can keep it in the local document folder and use for example this path. If you would want to deploy your project with the custom calibration and to the final app as well, you will need to copy the calibration.json into the streaming assets vision lib folder of your Unity project. Switch from URL to object again and drag and drop this file in the field or use this scheme. The streaming assets dear scheme will directly point to the streaming assets folder. That's it for now. See you in the next tutorial.